Greetings. I hear that you want to learn how to program funky drums, and I'm here just to teach you how to do it. My name is Eric D'Souza, and let's get right into it. All right, so first order of business is we need to set up our drums, so let's hear what we got. <laughs> Okay, that sounds really cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a region, and first we're gonna check out what our snare and our um, kick drum sound like. That ain't it. Okay. So we're gonna zoom in. We're not gonna use a MIDI controller, ju just as usual. Um, that's just my style. All right, so. And we're gonna loop this. First order of business is I wanna tighten that snare and we're gonna make it sound a little bit more high pitched than it is. I am using the Abbey Road Modern Drummer. Uh, I believe it is the, oh yeah, it is the white kit. Um, I think that's the most appropriate sounding one that I can find, but you're welcome to use whatever you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tune the snare. I really like the sound, I like the sound very much, but I don't like the tuning and I don't like how that it's not very tight, at least not to my preference. Nice and high pitched and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce the, the decay time of this, uh, of this snare. So we're going to reduce the hold first. That sounds about right to me. And we're gonna take that and run with it. And I think it sounds great. Next order of business is making this sound kick ass. So we're gonna start with something very simple. So we already figured out that this is where we want our kick and our snare. So we're gonna add our hi-hat now. Boring. Let's try putting it on the off beats. Already more interesting, right? Uh, let's add some ghost notes. I'm gonna copy this here, reduce the velocity to thereabouts. We're gonna add one more over here, reduce the velocity. Okay, I think that sounds pretty good. We have a basic groove. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna make a copy of it, right? I'm gonna mute this copy. And now we're gonna iterate on this. Uh, we're gonna make new versions of this and we're gonna see what we can come up with. Maybe let's, let's, let's think of a chorus version of this, right? That sounds okay, but I think we can make it sound more interesting. We need to close that hi-hat. So the, to close the hi-hat, we're gonna use this note over here. So select all of them and do that. So I think we wanna give this a little bit more juice. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move these up here. This is a chorus variant, right? So we're gonna um, duplicate this over here and again, remove the loop. Now we have a verse and a chorus. And now let's come up with something more interesting. As a former drummer, I think it's a very good idea to follow the bass. When you follow the bass, if you have something really groovy and inspirational like the bass, then it's a good idea to use your drums to follow the bass. The opposite of this is also true. If you have really good drum groove, you might want to follow the drum groove with your bass. In this case, we're going to follow the bass. So this is what it's going to sound like. Uh, we're going to delete this one. We're going to take our basic groove. We're going to loop it. Uh, I'm going to reduce this loop and I'm going to make it into a longer loop. So 
that repeats twice. But here's what we can do now. Right? So it's very important to close this with that, you know? All right, the next thing that we want to do is make this sound a little bit more interesting by adding a different variance, maybe a harder part in the chorus or something like that. So since we have this version now, um, I'm going to put this right here in between. And what we're going to do is take these and move them up to the right. What we want to do is we want to duplicate these. Um, too mechanical. When you're doing shorter, like 16th notes of this, for example, what you want to be doing is having every alternate hit be either louder or softer, and that depends strictly on the groove. So let's try both. I already like that. We could try the opposite. That's not bad, but I think this is a little stronger. Let's go full. I have an idea. I'm going to duplicate this. And for this one, the highlighted ones are going to be... Okay, I like that a lot. So what we're going to do is shorten this and do that. Yep, I like that very much. And these can be louder as well. And we're going to listen to what that sounds like. Eh, I think, this, I think it's fine as it is. All right. This is another section. So we're going to lay them out in ascending order of intensity, right? So we don't want that. We're going to put that. We're going to put that over there, over there. Maybe to even everything out, we're going to loop this one. We're going to hit J to join them. Uh, we can loop this one as well, J to join it. And now let's start building a song out of this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to just loop this um, over and over, and we'll see if we can come up with a nice section over here, okay? Um, I'm going to delete this for now. I'm going to show you what those are in a bit. Um, let's start with something simple. So let's start here. Maybe loop it twice. That Join these and see how we're going. How we're doing. And now let's go for something more interesting, like that. Maybe instead of this, we could do that. Actually, maybe why not that? So, this is what it's going to sound like. Not quite what I hoped. We need to lose those notes. There we go. And that has to start nice and loud, so we do that. Well, we make it really aggressive, right? And you always have a kick and a crash together. It sounds more impactful. So. Just like that, we're creating a song in real time really quickly just with using one bass groove and I would say probably two. This is what it looks like, right? So if we delete all these, this one bass groove is what's building our entire song. Um, 
what we can do next is maybe duplicate it, uh, remove the loop for our chorus section there. This is a guitar, right? And we're gonna move this one octave higher and see what that sounds like. <laughs> This is a chorus, right? So we want to repeat that twice. Um, and what we could do is duplicate this, remove that loop, do that, shorten it, select it, select all the notes, and move it one octave higher. Duplicate that, join it again, or maybe instead of doing that, since we want it to be like Lego, that's what we're gonna do. And what we wanna do is Yeah, what we wanna do is find a way to end this right. Oops. We want to have one of those. All right, let's go out with a bang, right? Select every alternate snare note. Um, excuse me. I seem to be forgetting my shortcuts. Reduce the velocity. Bada, 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 bada. There we go. And then hit A for automation. And what we're gonna do is select these and do a sort of that number to it. We don't want those affected, so we're going to do that and that. Looks like we just lost a note there, but that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do with that extra note is do that. Full, go out, maximum velocity. That's swing, my bad. Um, maximum velocity. And... <laughs> Yep, that's it. I mean, just end it like that, right? Um, so, this is what we have. Actually, I'm going to stop right there. I think this sounds too mechanical. Luckily for us, um, this particular, these Abbey Road drums have a very specific feature. And I would encourage you to find that specific feature in your own plugin, uh, whatever you're using, where you go into the options and you can randomize the drum. So I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna increase the velocity by just a bit and the timing just a bit. And now it's gonna sound a little bit more organic. I'm gonna show what I mean by just turning these up a lot. Sounds like a complete amateur is playing it, but what you want to do is just turn it up enough so that it sounds really organic. Maybe just about there. Join these, extend this, let it just legato it like that. Hell, you can even go into global and automate the tempo by adding a speed point there and one over there and doing uh, something like that, I guess and ramp it, decrease it, oops, my bad, uh, decrease it, maybe that about. Mm -hmm. 
bam. That's it, we have a groove, we have a whole song. Let's check it out. Boop, boop, boop. 